Hey, what's up, YouTube? We're back today taking a look at video wallpapers on the iPhone 10 for the iOS 11.3.1 .1 Electra Jailbreak. <laughs> So like always, give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more content just like this, and of course, check out our Best Tech Info website for more information and download links. Okay, so to start off, the majority of this look is achieved with one tweak called V Wallpapers 2. Now, when it was first updated for iOS 11, it was not quite yet on Cydia as of last week, but now it can be downloaded for free on Julio Verne's repository. Again, the links will be in the description of this video. So once you add the repository and once you install this tweak, again, it's V Wallpapers 2, you will see this icon on your home screen, which is where you configure the tweaks settings. Just go ahead and open it up, click manage current theme and enable a video wallpaper on the home screen, lock screen, or both. Now within the settings of either the lock screen or the home screen, again, you can set these wallpapers independently. Here is where you will choose your wallpaper. Now by default, when you first install this tweak, there are only two options available. But as I promised, I would show you guys how to manually add wallpapers, such as this Apple TV wallpaper I have here. So to do this, we're going to install a tweak called Apple File Conduit, which lets us see our entire phone's file system just by connecting it to the computer via a standard lightning cable. Now, in theory, you could just use Files. Uh, if, say, you had a video wallpaper download link, you could just use that to install these wallpapers directly on your device. But for this tutorial, we're either going to use Apple File Conduit 2 or you can SSH into your device and transfer files that way as well. I'll get into this in a little bit more details in a second, but for now, let's head over to the desktop. So once you're on the desktop side of things, you can use a program like iTools Pro or iFunbox or just something to view your phone's file system. Now with Apple File Conduit 2, we'll have a lot more access to all the files that you can't normally see, and these programs can then take advantage of it on the computer side of things. So with iTools Pro, we can just select files right here. And then we can actually just in this case, select file system user. But again, we have the whole entire file system available here for us as well. So within file system user, we can then just select V wallpapers two and then videos. And here is where the videos are located that you can see on your device. Now from here, we can easily just drag and drop a video file into place and use it on our iPhone. Now one thing, or one example I guess I'll bring up first of all is this uh, tunnel of light animation that I found um, from a user on Reddit. Now this is a really high resolution wallpaper. Again, you can just download it directly from Google right here. And that is what I did. I just put it in a folder on my desktop. And again, just to show you guys, you can simply drag and drop. Now, unfortunately with this program, this is just in a trial. So I will go ahead and just click free trial for now. Again, alternatively, you can use something like uh, CyberDuck if you want to SSH. This is entirely free too. You can just create a bookmark as well, um, going to the exact same location where these video files are. This is free. This will have no file limits. But again, using Apple File Conduit 2, and this is almost a little bit easier. In any case, all you want to do is just drag this file over. Again, like I said, this is a really high video resolution file right here and will look really nice on the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8. So moving on to Apple wallpapers again, like I said, I can't really link to these wallpapers when they're all converted and in their final state. I can really only show you the process of how to get these files uh, due to copyright issues. So basically I found a playlist on YouTube of a bunch of different Apple TV screensavers. Again, these are all in 4K because uh, 4K resolution, its vertical height is 2160. Now this works fine for the iPhone 8 because its vertical resolution height uh, is 1920 when in portrait mode. The iPhone 10, in contrast, is 2243, I think like that, maybe 2234. Uh, let's look it up phone 10 screen resolution 2436 okay so this isn't going to be quite perfect resolution on the iphone 10 but it will be close enough for this example so basically i just copy the url right up here 
Um, I'm using a program called 4K Video Downloader. Again, the links will be in the description on the Best Tech Info website. But basically, you can just paste the link. It's going to ask you if you want to download the entire playlist or just download the single clip. Now, for this example, I'll just download the clip right here. It's going to say phrasing. And once it's done here in just a second, initially it's probably going to be on MP4. Now we eventually have to get it into the MP4 format, but unfortunately this program only lets you download it in 1080p in MP4. So if we select MKV, we can now download it in 4K. And this file size is pretty big, but we'll take care of that in just a second. So I'm just going to go ahead and click download. I'll save it to my desktop and it pops up right there. So I'm going to let this guy download real fast before we move on to the next step. All right, so now that this is entirely downloaded, it's on our desktop. I'm going to go over to one more desktop right here. This is the same file. Basically, I just took this MKV file and I'm going to throw it in Handbrake just to compress it a little bit. And these files, when we put them on our phone for our phone to be able to use it with Video Wallpapers 2, they have to be in MP4 format. So I just want to double check that our dimensions stay at 4K, so 3840 by 2160, and then I'm just going to click Start, uh, choose a location. Let's also put this on our desktop, and then maybe give it, uh, how do we change the name down here? Uh, iPhone right there. So once that's all set, then we can just click Start, and this is going to create an MP4 file version right there. There we go, and it's starting down here. But basically, this is going to be a 4K video wallpaper for iPhone 10 or iPhone 8. Again, this is just directly downloaded from YouTube, thrown into the 4K downloader, which can which downloads it in MKV. And then the very last step is to convert it from MKV to MP4. So I've already done this with a bunch of Apple wallpapers right here. Again, you don't have to use an Apple wallpaper. You can use any video from YouTube. But just scrolling through some of these, I like to have a few options, um, and they all just look pretty epic in my opinion. So I went ahead and downloaded as many as possible, just seven or so. And now comes the fun part. If we take this over back to our original screen here, um, now all we have to do is just take our 4K wallpapers and drag them back into a uh, place right here. And I'm just going to click OK because I already had one of them in place at the beginning of this video. And basically, it's just going to copy all the files from our computer to our iPhone. And it's in the correct folder. And that is all we need to do on the computer. So once it's all in place, we can go back to our phone and select V Wallpapers 2, Manage Current Themes, Settings, and then select our wallpapers. So I initially had one of my Apple TV wallpapers playing in the background, but let's say I'll change it up to the tunnel of light. And then if I go back to my home screen, as you guys can see, it updates almost immediately to the new wallpaper. Now heading back into the app, like I said earlier, you can set an individual wallpaper for both the lock screen and the home screen as well, which creates a really neat effect when you're unlocking your device. Now, very lastly, you guys might have noticed that my app icons fade in the background, and that is achieved with this tweak called Evanesco, which was also just recently updated for iOS 11, and this one's free on Big Boss. Anyway, guys, that is everything you could possibly need to know about the tweak V Wallpapers 2 and how to get video wallpapers on your iOS device. Again, it's probably pretty easy to install these wallpapers via Filesa if you have the direct download link via something like a Dropbox link or Google Drive download, something like that Tunnel of Light. Wallpaper could very easily be installed via Filesa, but if you want to get things like YouTube videos or these 4K Apple TV screensavers as your wallpaper like I do in today's video, you're going to have to go through this more extensive process converting these files and such. In any case, I hope this tutorial proves useful for taking any YouTube video and placing it as a wallpaper on your iPhone. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Give it a huge thumbs up if you're excited to have video wallpapers on your iPhones. Again, subscribe if you want to see more content just like this. And don't forget to check out Best Tech Info for all the download links to the programs I used, to the tweaks, to all the repositories to find them. Anyway, I hope this video helped out. Thank you guys so much for watching, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.